So why would the devil want to trick us that he doesn't exist? Going back to this thing about, if the devil doesn't exist, therefore evil doesn't exist. So how would it benefit the devil to trick us into thinking that he doesn't exist? Yeah. So it keeps you ignorant. Ignorant of what? That evil doesn't exist while he's going around and destroying things. You don't know what's happening. You don't know what's happening. Now, here, just, or it could be yourself. He, he could be destroying yourself, and you won't know what's happening. Very good. Yeah, because remember, God creates, the devil destroys. Not by creating, but by, not, not by putting something better in its place, but just by destroying and tearing down. So now, if the devil can convince us that he doesn't exist, then, you know, and then, and, and we're obviously not going to be leaning in this direction, now we're going to start tearing things down. We're starting with ourselves, we destroy ourselves in all kinds of horrible ways, man. You know, like I was saying, one of the things that we miss is this, this idea of the divine spark in us. You know, whether you believe the, the text or not, as it says that we're created in the image of God. And pretty much every religion has it such that, the, that humans are created in the image of the divine. Why? Well, because we're created. That's something that, that's good. If we turn away from our, crea from our creator and we, you know, we, we, we tear down, we don't create, but we turn away from it, now, now, we're, now we're living with the absence of God. And if we live with the absence of good and God, then now we're living in the presence of the devil and evil. Remember, it's just the absence of it. So as soon as you turn away from that thing, it's like if you... If you're in a room and you turn off the light, you've turned away from the light. Well, now you're living in darkness. And that's all it is. And if you're living in darkness, you turn the light. Now you're living back with light. So it's the absence of these things. So now, if the devil can convince us he doesn't exist, and now if we're not living with good, well, then we're just going to do this thing over here, which is evil. And you hear this manifest in lots of different ways. You know what? You just do you. Just make yourself happy. So, I'll ask you, what makes you happy in life? <laughs> Are they the things that we lean towards goodness and creation? Or do we lean towards the things of the absence of goodness and creation in our own lives? Like, like, what it is for you to have a successful life? Well, that might be a bit of a challenge, to have a successful life. Because, of course, we have to figure out what, successful, what a successful life is. And that's going to be different for a lot of people. But I think you're going to find that, the, that there's an, an overarching structure of what, um, of what a good life is, what a successful life is. Something that walks in goodness. In other words, it corresponds to virtue. It's something that um, probably is larger than yourself because, you have to, because it's, it, there's creation involved. And what that creation is, well, this matters. So, for example, you might just say, well, my, 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 goal, my idea of a successful life is to create a family. Because right now, you don't have a family. I mean, you have one that you're part of as, as a child, but you don't have a family that you've created as, as, on your own. So now what you do is you come along and you create a family on your own. And a lot of times, the decisions that we make now are contrary to that. So sure, you can create, but how, do you, how quickly can you destroy your, your family as well? You cheat on your spouse. That's one that we, we, we simply point at. We go, oh, that's the big one. But man, it's, that's, that's like the final straw. There's a lot of other things in between there. In other words, why do you, um, you, don't, you don't nurture your family. You don't water your plants. They're going to die. If you don't water your family with love, then of course it's going to die. It's going to turn away from you. Um, so now if, we're, if we maybe we're walking in goodness to create, but now we walk away from goodness, all the things that go into that, and then suddenly we turn, in, we, we, we turn to evil. We destroy our families. We destroy our relationships with our children. We destroy our relationships with our parents, even as we're parents. We still have parents, hopefully. And so what it is for it to be, to be good and to be virtuous is to walk always with this idea of goodness in mind. To be focused on this first and foremost. But as we know from Socrates, the image of the, the, the form of good appears to us last of all. And only through much effort. We have to figure out and walk through what this thing is. So this is the kind of thing that people who have religion in their lives can point to and go, well, I know what goodness is because I have this book that walks me through it. That's fine. That's fine, as long as you have reasons for what it is. The danger comes along when we say, well, I don't have any kind of something outside of myself that helps me do that, but you know, I don't need that to be a good person because I can make those decisions for myself. <clears throat> oh, yeah, but, but, but can you? No. I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know because think about the kinds of things that we typically lean towards. I mean, you can, 
you don't need a diet, to, a, a diet book to tell you how you're supposed to be eating, right? You can do that on your own. So I guess my question is, do you? You guys getting enough protein and, and water in your systems every day? Or does, does most of the food that we, that we eat have that crinkly sound before we eat it? Because <laughs> we're opening a, a cellophane bag. You know? Just because you know, we, we think that, you know, when we think that we can come to a conclusion on our own, I guess the same is true about physics, right? You spend your whole life trying to discover physics, or you can take the book that's, that's come before you that is full of wisdom. And for some reason, we rebel against those things. This doesn't mean, by the way, that you should follow it. It doesn't mean you shouldn't. But, my goodness, it's a weird thing for us to just kind of not even read the thing and then toss it out and say, whatever, it doesn't have anything I need. How do you know? Have you read it? Have you looked at it? Well, I've heard about it. Jeez. Do you want to be judged by the things I've heard about some of you? I've heard some terrible things about some of you from people. And I'm sure some of you guys have heard terrible things about me. Maybe we don't want to go by the things that we hear about. Maybe we want to go, by, go about the things that we, want to, that, we, that we actually take the time to explore and discover. Maybe that's what Socrates is getting at when he says that the form of goodness appears last of all, and only through much strain and effort. We have to discover what this is if we want to live that kind of a life. And that's difficult. But man, what's the alternative? Living a life of, of evil, absence of good, while we try to figure it out. And the problem with living this way is that it's very difficult to turn away from this way. You know, once you kind of get settled into this, because there is comfort that's there. There's, there's community that's there. A lot, most people live over here. Most people don't think about what the form of goodness is. Most people don't think about what the form of goodness is. And so they end up just by nature ending up over here. A lot of us do that. I mean, yeah, I can think about what's going on inside my body, but I really like hot Cheetos. So I just pursue it. You know? The loveliest trick, he says, the devil to persuade us that he doesn't exist because if you realize that the devil existed, if the devil himself walked in here, not Captain Fred, but if the actual devil himself walked in here and it was like, oh, hey, oh, honey, one of my guys. Anyway, um, I recognize you. I'll see you soon. Um, I want you guys, and he starts giving you, telling you how to live, and if you looked at him and you were like, yeah, but that's the devil. <laughs> you know, and if you believed it, and if you believed everything else, that would clarify things for you. The devil wrote, said, the Bible, I'm going I'm to write a different book, and I'm going to tell you how you should live. You'd be just as wise to read the Bible as you would be to look at that book and say, wow, I should do the opposite of everything this thing says. Instead, I should, you know, do, yeah, do the opposite of everything that this thing says. Um, but if he, if he were that clear, oh well, my goodness, you wouldn't do evil stuff. So his best way, this is, this is the very difficult part of this. I mean, practically, because what tells us about our character. The most, if the devil wants you to do evil stuff, he needs to be as uninvolved in your life as possible. Because you'll do it anyway. As soon as he's involved in your life, and he's telling you to do this, now you're going to realize, oh, that's the devil, I should be doing that. But if instead he just goes, you'll do that by nature. That's the scary part, because you might say, not me, yeah, 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 you, and you, and you, and you, and me. All of us do this. So the devil wants to be, in, wants to, wants to get you to go to hell. He just has to be uninvolved in your life. People say, the devil made me do it. The devil didn't do shit. Maybe the devil brought you the, maybe the devil brought you the mattress, maybe the devil brought you the sheets, but you definitely made your own bed. And the only reason you didn't bring your own mattress and sheets is because you didn't think to do it. <laughs> you know? Because that's what's in us. That's what's in us. That's why this is such a, a difficult thing for a lot of us to do. And this stuff is so easy for us to do. You know? Being good is, uh, is, uh, is it's difficult. First you've got to figure out what it is. And then to follow it. Most of us just want to eat the Cheetos, man. Nothing wrong with that. All I'm saying is just be aware of what that is, because you should not, um, if there is such a thing as heaven and hell, you shouldn't end up there by, you're not going to end up there by accident. You're not going to show up there and be surprised that you're there. You might be angry about it, or you might be relieved by it, but you're not going to be surprised by it, especially if you replay your whole life, you know? I don't know. Happy Wednesday? 
questions, comments, concerns, complaints, criticisms, critiques.